All right, so this video is for part two of the big picture problem, how to solve for the pH after the addition of 12 milliliters of HCl. So in this one, this one's gonna be the first one that's a little bit more complicated. Actually, it's probably the most complicated part of this entire problem. So for part two, we've added 12, milliliter, 12 milliliters of HCl. And again, the question that I, I'm wanting you guys to start thinking about, you know, to start is what is in the solution? So if we start with NH3 and we add in H+, then we're going to form NH4+. So coming up with this reaction on your own is really the key to sort of unlocking this problem and getting started with this problem. So NH3 plus H+, plus gives us NH4+. Plus. Um, this is a reaction that's going to go to completion. And we need to use stoichiometry um, and limiting reagent rules to, you know, work this. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to figure out how many moles of my reagents I am going to start with. So for NH3, that's 0 0.0025 moles, right? And w whenever I'm doing this limiting reactant stoichiometry thing, I'm going to be using moles instead of molarity. And after I've added 12 milliliters of HCl, that will be 0 0.0012 moles. And I start with zero NH4. So this could be our start and end table, right? Limiting reactant stoichiometry. I can tell right away that this H plus is the limiting reactant. Um, it's less than 0 0.0025. So uh, at the end of this, I'm gonna end up with 0 0.0013 moles of NH3, so simply subtracting this 0 0.0012 from 0 0.0025, and then I will end up with 0 0.0012 moles of NH4+. So these are gonna be my molarity, you know, my um, number of moles of NH3 and NH4+. Those will be the species that are present in solution at this time, and that's what I'm gonna use um, to then solve for the pH, either using the henderson hasselbalch equation um, or using an ice table. So I'm gonna go ahead and let's just use the henderson hasselbalch equation. So when we do that, right, pH equals pKa plus the log of the concentration of the base over the concentration of the acid. And the concentration of base and acid here, right, that's gonna be from my NH3 and NH4 plus. Those are conjugate acid-base pairs. So I saw a lot of us trying to put in, you know, the concentration of HCl as our acid. Um, we would never really be putting that concentration of HCl in as our acid, um, simply because, you know, that's not going to be a conjugate acid-base pair in my buffer solution. So in this case, this base will be the concentration of NH3, and the acid will be the concentration of NH4+. So to solve for the pH, the pKa is going to be the minus log of... Oh, I need to solve for the Ka real quick. So I'll just write it over here. Ka is going to equal Kw over Kb. So my Ka is equal to 5.56 times 10 to the minus 10th. So that'll be what I put in here. 5.56 times 10 to the minus 10th. Plus the log of the concentration of the base. Now the concentration of the base, right, what I really want to do is I want to use the concentration, the molarity, so the number of moles divided by the number of liters. So my molarity for NH3 is 0.0351. And my molarity for NH4 plus is 0 0.0324. So here, right, I'm getting these values by taking the number of moles, dividing by the total volume. And the total volume in this case is 0 0.025 plus 0 0.012 liters equals 0 0.037 liters. 
Um, so that's how I'm getting these values here. So at this point, I can just basically plug this in and solve for my pH, um, and that equals 9.29.